the Golf is Hard TV, the golf show for the rest of us. We are getting there. Full swing stuff. Ball Cast position. The club. Ball, you you uh, asked a question today. Yeah. Or maybe I pointed it you out. Pointed after out. You pointed it out. So it was a it was a par three. It was about a hundred and uh, say about 100, 150. About 145 yards. That's right. Yep. Wind was blowing left to right. Uh, seven iron because my new distance on a seven iron is actually 150, which Perfect is mind blowing distance, for yep. me. But that's the distance. Uh, I hit the ball. Hit a little thin. It was a little short. And Dave pointed out that my ball position was wrong, and that was actually causing some issues. Uh, so this show, this episode, is about ball position, uh, and I think it's going to be a, an important show to understand um, where to put the ball when you're hitting, yeah. when you're hitting it. Very, it's very, very important. And it, all right, here's this, what happened with him. His ball's a little bit too far forward, and we'll explain this. The ball went. It was great, great swing, uh, pretty good contact. The divot was the bottom of the swing was probably right under the ball. Yeah. It should be in front of the ball. Front we know ball. that from prior episodes. That's right which caused the ball to go much too high, and the wind took it, pushed it back, ended up being a little short of the green. Whereas just by simply moving that ball back about two ball widths uh, back in the stance, that would have been a nice, low, boring shot right in the middle of the green. So that's a difference. I it still was... parred that hole, by the way. Yeah, you did. It was a great chip. Where did you learn how to chip that way? <laughs> this is the internet thing. Golf is hard TV. You might have heard of it. <laughs> All right, let me go with the camera, and you, uh, you talk about ball position. Okay, ball position. Okay, folks, here we go. Ball position, and you can see I set up a club here. Uh, this ball is obviously gonna be right in the middle of my stance. Typically, this is the way I, I, I kind of judge it, is uh, if I have a seven or eight, six, seven, eight iron, this ball is pretty much gonna be right in the middle of my stance. I'm just talking about a normal uh, trajectory shot. If I'm gonna hit it lower, I might, Put it more back in my stance with that seven iron, but that, that's that's different different episode, and, and we'll talk a bit about that. This is just what type of ball position do we do we want to have on a normal shot, normal full swing? So, and you've heard a lot of different things. Move it forward with the longer irons, back with the wedges, and we'll talk about why. And I think that that is really the right way to go as we're learning the game. So. Um, a seven iron, and, th and this is a, a great way for you all to, to start um, positioning your ball. So if you have a seven iron, put it right in the middle of your stance. There you go, that's a good seven iron ball position. Now we have a wedge in our hand, then you're probably gonna move it back about two ball widths right there. You can see, uh, and, and this is probably more, more or less where I would position a wedge somewhere here or maybe a ball and a half i'd probably put the wedge actually right about there and that would be a full pitching wedge from the fairway the question is why do we do that and mark i just heard you ask why didn't i, I? Did. I was thinking actually why why do we do that I don't know. and that's what we're all about here on golf is hard it's explaining the why and the concept dave why <laughs> that's... i mean i just have no idea but ser seriously though because you're talking about a half an inch yeah. And and you're making a big deal of it. Right. So it's a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. Let's talk about your seven iron. Yeah. That was about probably not too much too far forward. Yeah. So the bottom of the swing was right under the ball. It should have been out in front of the yeah. ball. Would have been a lower shot. It, it would have been at the, the trajectory the club was actually designed. Right. So you would have you would have hit that shot with proper ball position would have gone off at that trajectory. And you can see if it's a little more far forward, you can see how that club is now pointing more yeah. up. So now you're hitting it higher. And you also have to make sure you time it perfectly because most of the time you're gonna hit that thin. That's right. Or you can hit it fat, same wow. thing. Because the bottom of the swing now is moving back when your ball is too far yeah. forward. So in inches inches here matter. So I, you know, I, I, as, it, as you were talking, I was thinking, boy, the, the difference is, you know, maybe half an inch, an inch, but it's actually yeah. a big deal. Yep, and here's, here's the why. That, the, uh, that's part of the why. This is why in terms of what's happening physically. Yeah. From a physics standpoint. Okay, I need a little room to yeah. swing here. So, okay, we talked about the bot. This ties into hit the little ball before the big ball to some degree. Uh, but we're gonna keep it very simple. Remember the bottom of the swing is at the sternum. So if I'm taking a full swing with the wedge, and this, this is why, full swing with the wedge now, I'm gonna move it back in my stance I have a little weight left. My bottom of the swing is in front of the ball with the wedge. I'm just set up there now because the ball's back. In a full swing with the wedge, you're, you're just not gonna pivot back to the right side. You wanna keep everything in front of the ball. 
So I want to play it. I want to play it. That was a great shot, by the way. I want to play it towards the back of my swing. Uh, towards the back of my stance. Because I want to make sure that I get the uh, bottom of the swing out in front of the ball. Now, 7 iron, middle of my stance. It's a longer club. It's still, you know, it's still a full swing, but there just is going to be a little more pivot uh, back onto the right side with the 7 iron. And when we get to the driver, which is the longest club, there is the most pivot back to the right side. So with the ball in the middle of my stance now, I'm going to pivot back, and, and as I start to come down, without keeping it very simple, as I pivot down and through, I end up actually in the same position with, as I would with the wedge, but because there's more pivot, the bottom's still in front, the, the ball start in the middle of my stance. Now if I have a three or four iron, I want to play that a little more forward. Um, and I'm going to cover off on one more thing here uh, with relative to ball position, which is also very important. So three or four iron, which we're actually not hitting three, say hybrids. We all don't have threes and fours, so you probably have a four or five iron and probably a hybrid. Uh, any longer club, you can play it a little more forward in the stance. There's certainly more pivot, and by the time you get back to that ball, uh, you're going to have pivoted through. The bottom of the swing is going to be in front of the ball. Now, let me just make one last very important point on why we move the ball and it has to do with how steeply the club is swinging down into the ball you know we might have to redo this whole episode because i it's uh all right let's just let's keep going you can work it out so uh and no it might be good to leave it in okay so we talked about ball position in terms of uh pivoting Bottom of the swing, being in front of the ball, very, very important. Um, how much divot do you take with a hybrid mark off the fairway versus, say, a wedge? Or a five iron? Is five iron compared to a wedge? Five iron to a wedge, uh, more divot with the wedge. Yeah, exactly. Is that right? Yep. Excellent. Do I win so, something? You do. You win a golf is our TV <laughs> <Yes>. hat. <laughs> All right. When we get them made. Any hat manufacturers out there, you want to partner up with us, uh, give yeah, us a call. <laughs> Shoot us an email. Okay, so um, that's exactly it. And that's another reason why we want to play the ball a little more forward with the longer irons or a hybrid off the fairway is there's a lot less divot in that shot. When we get to the bottom of the swing, it's slightly in front of the ball still, but it's not as severely steep like a wedge, and you don't want it to be. So the ball position allows you to kind of sweep. You're still hitting down and through, but that ball position out in front will allow you to have a little more of a sweeping motion. It's a lower, obviously, it's a less lofted club, a lower, more boring trajectory. And there you go. I hope I answered the question. Uh, about ball position. Why do we play a little more back with the wedges? Why do we play in the middle with a six or seven and a little more forward with a long iron or a hybrid? Ball position.